Students today let us learn about some more interesting options in Scratch. Although a computer is a smart machine, yet it needs instructions from us to do any task. A computer does not understand English, so we have to give instructions to it in a special computer language that it can understand. This language is known as the programming language. Scratch is a programming language designed for the children to enhance their computing skills. It enables the children to create their own game, animated stories and projects. Scratch language provides objects to which we can give commands to perform different actions. In Scratch, these objects are known as sprites. Let us discuss features of Scratch first. Scratch is available free of cost. It is easy to understand and learn. It increases students' interest in programming by providing graphical environment. Instead of writing text or codes, predefined blocks are snapped together to create the script. It allows playful experimenting with program segments. Let me share an interesting fact with you. Scratch is developed by the lifelong kindergarten group at the MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology Media Lab, led by Mitchell Resnick in 2003. With financial support from the National Science Foundation, Intel Foundation and the MIT Media Lab. The first official website of Scratch was launched in 2006. Ok, let me tell you components of Scratch. Let us learn about various components of the Scratch window. Sprite Sprites are objects that perform various actions in a Scratch project. Scratch provides a number of inbuilt sprites. By default, the cat sprite is selected and displayed in the middle of the stage. Stage It is the main working area to draw pictures or perform actions. Stage is the place where sprites move and interact with each other. It is divided into X or Y coordinate, which shows the position of the mouse. The values of both the coordinates are displayed at the bottom right corner of the stage. Sprite list. It displays the thumbnails of all the sprites that we have selected below the stage. Blocks palette. Blocks palette contains various predefined blocks that are used to perform a specific task. Script area. The collection of stepwise instructions given to a sprite is known as script. Script area is place where we pick and drop the blocks to create a script. Sprite Info Pane Click on the Info icon present on the top left corner of a sprite thumbnail to display the sprite info pane. It includes information about the selected sprite as well as few tools for manipulating the sprite. The tools include Sprite Rotation Style Buttons Circular Arrow the circular arrow enables full rotation of a sprite. Linear arrow. The linear arrow enables a sprite to only face left or right. Disable rotation. It disables rotation. The sprite will remain facing 90 degrees no matter what. X, Y coordinates. These coordinates indicate the position of a sprite on the stage. The horizontal line is labeled as x-axis and the vertical line is labeled as y-axis. The point at which the two axes meet is the center of the stage and is known as origin. The origin is represented by x is to 0 and y is to 0 coordinates. Direction. It includes how the sprite will turn when it executes a move instruction. 0, up, 90, right, 180, down. Minus 90, left. View full screen. View full screen mode or presentation mode button is located at the top left corner of the stage. Click on the button to view the presentation of your project in full screen mode. Tabs. Scratch provides us with three different tabs, namely scripts, costumes and sounds. All three tabs have different tasks to perform. In addition to these, the Backdrops tab appears only when we select the stage icon to add any inbuilt background on the stage or to paint a new background. Stage icon. 
The stage icon is present at the left of the sprite list. Clicking this button will add the Backdrops tab in place of Costumes tab. Using this tab, we can import any background on the stage. Cursor Tools Cursor tools are located at the top of the scratch window. There are four different tools to perform different operations on sprites. Duplicate This option creates a duplicate copy of the selected sprite. Delete Clicking on this option will delete the selected sprite. Grow As the name suggests, this option helps us to increase the size of the sprite. Let us find out how to increase size of the sprite. Select the Grow button from the toolbar. The mouse pointer shape changes into four-headed arrow with an outward direction. Now place the pointer on the sprite and click on it. The size of the sprite will increase. Shrink. The function of Shrink button is opposite to the Grow button. It helps to decrease the size of the sprite. Now let us learn how to decrease size of the sprite. Select the Shrink button from the toolbar. The mouse pointer changes into four-headed arrow with an inward direction. Place the pointer on the sprite and click on it. The size of the sprite will decrease. Block Help Selecting the Block Help button will change the mouse pointer into a question mark. Click on any block in the Blocks palette with the question mark. A pop-up window appears that shows quick tip for that specific block. We can also open the Tips window by clicking on the Tips option placed on the menu bar. Time for the fact file. Scratch 2.0 is the current version introduced after Scratch 1.4. It has the vector editor and allows us to edit projects directly from the web browser or in an offline editor. It was officially released on May 9, 2013. Okay, let us learn how to add a new sprite now. When we open Scratch, by default, the cat sprite is present on the stage. We can create a new sprite, import it or use the available sprites in our project by selecting the new sprite option. Let us discuss each one of these. Number 1. Choose sprite from library. Scratch contains many exciting inbuilt sprite options. Clicking on this button will open a sprite library dialog box, which provides multiple options of sprites. Number 2. Paint New Sprite Clicking on this button will open the Paint Editor window, where we can draw a new sprite. This window provides many paint tools. Use the tools to draw a sprite and fill any color from the color palette of the Paint Editor. After the sprite is completed, click on OK. The stage will have similar sprite as we draw in the Paint Editor and it will also be added in the sprite list. While drawing, we can also increase or decrease the size of the sprite by using the zoom buttons. Number 3. Upload Sprite from File Clicking this button will open the Select Files to Upload by App colon slash scratch dot SWF dialog box that offers a facility to choose sprite from the files stored in a computer system. Number 4. New Sprite from Camera this option opens the web camera of our system, provided our system is enabled with it. It allows us to click an image and use it as a sprite. Another fact to note is that Scratch can easily run on different operating systems including Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Students know that sprite's name. The name of a sprite can be changed by clicking inside the box that displays the sprite's name. 